Today on TLDR from GeekWire. Fact-checking Trump's claims on Amazon and the Postal Service. Uber and Lyft rides could become more expensive in Seattle. And a visit to one of the last blockbusters in the U.S. From GeekWire, it's TLDR, your daily rundown on all things tech. Hey everyone, welcome back to the show. I hope you had a great weekend. In case you missed it on Saturday morning, President Donald Trump continued to tweet about Amazon. His tweet said, It is reported that the U.S. Post Office will lose $1.50 on average for each package it delivers for Amazon. That amounts to billions of dollars. The failing New York Times reports that the size of the company's lobbying staff has ballooned, and that does not include the fake Washington Post, which is used as a lobbyist and should so register. If the post office increased its parcel rates, Amazon's shipping costs would rise by $2.6 billion. This post office scam must stop. Amazon must pay real costs and taxes now. This morning, a Washington Post article said Trump's statement about the post being a lobbyist for Amazon was incorrect. The Washington Post is owned by Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos, but it operates as an independent newspaper. Trump's claim that Amazon shipping costs the U.S. Postal Service billions of dollars has also been disputed. The Postal Service is in financial trouble, but package shipping is actually a revenue generator. So far, Amazon and USPS have declined to comment on this. If you live in Seattle, your Uber and Lyft rides could become more expensive. The Seattle City Council is expected to introduce a resolution that would explore a minimum base fare of $2.40 for all operators in the for hire transportation industry. The goal is to make sure that drivers are compensated fairly and to make sure that drivers make close to Seattle's minimum wage of $15 per hour. Uber wasn't happy when it heard about this. The Uber GM for the Pacific Northwest said the changes will significantly increase the cost for riders, which would mean fewer trips and less work for drivers. The resolution also proposes a requirement for Uber and Lyft to provide data on fares, hours worked, and driver compensation. Our final story is a major throwback. Before Netflix and Chill, there was Blockbuster. It's one of the most iconic brands of the 90s and early 2000s. GeekWire's Tom Crozet took a trip down to Bend, Oregon, where you'll find the last Blockbuster store in the lower 48. There are six other Blockbuster stores in the United States, but they're all in Alaska. Tom set out to answer this question. Why would anyone shop at Blockbuster in the age of streaming movies and broadband internet? He spoke to some customers at the store, and almost everyone uses Netflix, or at least rents DVDs from Redbox, but they all like the personal touch that you can't always get through streaming. At Blockbuster, you'll meet a staff of people who care about movies, and the Blockbuster in Bend is also locally owned. For some, the movie selection at Blockbuster was a major selling point. Although Netflix has almost every major TV series available, old classics are really hard to come by. Another selling point? Blockbuster's kettle corn. You can read more about Tom's experience on GeekWire.com. As promised, we went through all of your emails for last week's trivia questions. And if you're new to the channel, last week we launched a giveaway for a pair of Apple AirPods and asked our audience to email us with the answer to the following question. A protest group in Seattle has frequently called on Starbucks to make their cups more sustainable. What's the name of the group's mascot? We actually accepted two answers to this question. The mascot's name is Grounds, but it's also referred to as the Cup Monster, so we accepted both of those answers. And our winner this week is Dave Verini. Congratulations on winning GeekWire's first giveaway on TLDR, Dave. We'll send the AirPods to you soon. This won't be our last giveaway, so make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook if you haven't already so you won't miss the next one. I'm Starless Paco. Thanks for watching TLDR. See you tomorrow.